Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Kim and today I am going to be showing you my Style Art Kennedy hoodie. Now some of you that already follow me will know that I've already made one of these and I, I made it from some fabric that was already in my stash so I made it from some jersey knit. It, it wasn't really the correct fabric to use but it was a great opportunity for me to test out the pattern to see how um, the sweatshirt actually fit and also go through style arcs instructions their, their instructions are very limited um, so it's always uh, it can always be a little bit difficult it really makes you have to think about each each step of the process of making a style art pattern art but i learnt a lot from it and i also um, knew that i would make the style art kennedy hoodie again but I would make some changes so effectively this hoodie that I've made has incorporated those changes that I have made and I will talk through those um, during this uh, video. So to start with I bought some sweatshirt fabric from a company called myfabrics.co.uk and I bought a few so I bought some, some orange, um, the floral vine and some pink so this fabric this so this sweatshirt is primarily made up of the orange and the floral vine now they are two completely different um, weights of fabric their composition is is different so to explain why I'm going why I'm discussing composition is quite important because you can see the the orange sweatshirt fabric it's quite firmer it, it and it doesn't it's not it's not curling up around the edges it's quite a, a firmer sweatshirt it's got you know a nice bit of stretch but it's not overstretched so you know that whatever you make out of it it's going to hold its shape this the composition of this fabric is 65% cotton and 35% polyester it's nice and firm it's brushed back um, sweatshirt and it's extremely warm. It's extremely warm. Um, and the accent fabric that I use for the sweatshirt is this floral vine sweatshirt. And you can see straight away by holding this up, it just curls. So it's not as um, firm, but it is great to use as an accent. And the composition of this fabric is 95% cotton and just 5% polyester um, and you can see that this has got quite a bit of stretch but also because of the cotton content the stretch um, has a, a very good recovery to it so you know that that's going to um, pass the test of time so it's got a nice stretch to it but you know it recovers well and the two fabrics have worked really well together with this hoodie so that's that's the composition bit and I ordered the fabrics that I ordered so I ordered the the orange fabric and I had I ordered two meters of that and I used about a meter and a quarter for this hoodie and I still have three quarters left so I, I have plans to do something with this and I have been looking so I'll cover that on um, a video once I've done that and the floral vine I ordered I only ordered a meter and a half of that and I still have quite a bit of this left so I I've also been looking at what I can um, make up with the remainder of this but these will go back into my stash until I get to that. Um, now I'm going to talk about um, the actual hoodie now and any changes that I made in this hoodie from the first one and why I made them. I still so, got the hood on the back and I wanted to do that because I really wanted to show off the two different fabrics um, so that they would work well together and I made it primarily in the orange fabric because the orange sweatshirt fabric is firmer and I think 
it works better with the floral vine just sitting basically on top of it showing off some of the, the design features I think if you did it the other way this um, floral vine fabric would not have been able to hold the weight of this the orange sweatshirt because um, it's, it's just too heavy I mean you could you could if you wanted you could interface this with stretchy interfacing to bring it up to the same sort of structure as this if you wanted so it's not impossible but you can do it so I'm going to stand up so you can see um, the sweatshirt and I've accompanied it with my lovely blouse that I made a few weeks ago and this is the S9231 and I just thought it would look nice with this I've got a bit of an orange theme going on at the moment I'm a bit orange obsessed um, so I'm going to stand up and I'm going to work through all of the different features and things that I have changed about this hoodie okay so here you can see she has her hood on the back so the external hood is orange with the floral vine strip um, in the middle there and in the inside hoodie you have the floral vine on the outside with an orange strip down the middle so they contrast really well then um, most of the uh, rest of the hoodie is orange. So all the back is orange. The top part here is orange, plus the bottom half is orange. So I've accented it with the front tabs in the floral vine, the pocket flap in the floral vine, and also the kangaroo um, pouch in the floral vine. And they all work really well together. Instead of putting cuffs onto the sweatshirt, I, I bought some ribbon also from myfabrics.co.uk and this ribbon has worked so well with this fabric. You can see it matches the orange beautifully and also this lovely coral um, colour here just matches the, the floral vine. So I couldn't have picked a better um, ribbon and it just works really well. So I swapped the, the cuff and the waistband that was in the original hoodie out for, for the ribbon and I really like it. And um, one of the design features was the cuff and it had a presser stud. Um, so I put the ribbon on and I also shortened the sleeves a little bit and I really like the sleeve length. It, it works for me. I don't like my sleeves right over my hands. And it works really well in the hoodie. Okay. And I bought some lovely cord from a company called Neo Trims. And this cord is quite long. And I like it at the moment, but I will see how I fare with it after a while and whether I want to shorten it. And if I, I do, I can shorten it. So I just take it out of the channel and shorten it. I also bought some... Um, grommets some eyelets for the hoodie um and there's a whole video on um when i went through a process of selecting eyelets and i changed them out etc so you can have a look at that video as well but i bought these these um eyelets stroke grommets from a company called abbey tops mainly because they're the only company I could find that did this sort of copper rose gold colour and I just wanted something that matched this you know my fabrics this because the oranges are quite a warm fabric and I just thought it just needed something warm I didn't want to use silver or gold I just wanted something a little bit different and the same goes for the presser studs on the front also from Abbey Tops and they're this beautiful um, copper colour and they they work really really well and I put those on using my my green press and the die set that I bought from the trimmings company so um, changes that I made 
to this top were obviously the cuffs and the waistland, waistband and um, just very quickly instead of putting three um, presser studs on the front I I put four so I I put four so when you watch the video on how I make this you will you'll see how by the way I interfaced it you can put as many as you want so you can watch that when it when it gets um, edited and um, put up in the next couple of days the reason why I wanted to make this hoodie again is because I really really enjoyed wearing my my white star and grey Kennedy and um, I just knew that I could make some improvements to how how it was sewn together and the one thing that really bothered me <laughs> was this area here so this area here when I originally made it there were 15 layers combined of fabric and interfacing and it was just extremely bulky and I personally didn't think that you needed to have all of that interfacing so in this um, sweatshirt what I've done is I've reduced that bulk down to um, nine layers so I've removed effectively six layers of interfacing because they're, they're just not needed you don't need them so one of the main areas that I worked on was the pocket flap so this pocket flap here in the instructions it is double double fabric and it's also interface double as well so you ended up with four layers of fabric and interfacing that went into this top part here so all I've done is I've just done one layer of fabric and I have put interfacing just around the edges and I've turned it over uh, well, I've overlocked, turned it over and stitched and it still gives you the exact same effect but with no bulk so it's, it works really really well and also the front tabs which were double interfaced I only interfaced those once I didn't feel that um, these front, front tabs needed so much interfacing because I, w I wanted to try and keep this um, area um, soft and fluid so it moved with the the orange fabric it wasn't too stiff that it looked like it was too stiff um, so I'm really really pleased with this hoodie um, yeah I'm just really pleased with it it's extremely warm and I like um, I like the fact that I have um, these beautiful this beautiful ribbon and it goes really well uh, and I was still I would still make another one I did buy some more fabric from my fabrics.co.uk and um, I would definitely make another hoodie um, but I think at the moment I will try to find a pattern where I can use up the rest of my sort of remnants from these these fabrics because there's still quite a bit here and I have found a pattern in one of the birder magazines that I have um, so I might have a go at that so just watch this space because I'm sure that will appear at some time so today um, I'm not going to cover anything else like purchases or anything else that I'm working on I just wanted to really concentrate on this hoodie um, because in the next couple of days I will release the tutorial which shows me making it and and hopefully it will inspire some of you to have a go at making it it's a really um, it comes together really well and the only um, thing I would say just choose your fabric wisely because you need to make sure that if you're using a firmer fabric that's your primary fabric that all of the accent fabric sits on you could not using these two fabrics do it the other way around because this fabric would just be too heavy for the pocket um, so yeah have a go I hope you have inspired you and um, I think that's it for today so if you've enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up better still subscribe 
and I will see you all in 2024. This is not, I made this in 2023, so this is not my first make of 2024. That is coming, it's already been made and I'm going to be um, doing the video shortly for that and um, I'm so pleased with it. I've used some of my Nerida Hanson fabric that I bought um, a while back from Beyond the Pink Door so I'm quite excited to show you that. So it's uh, all coming your way very soon so I, I hope I hope you all had a great Christmas and um, here's to a healthy and happy 2024 where we can sew to our heart's content. So I will see you all very soon. Take care. Bye.